Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing another GTA 5 online video and uh, this video I'm basically going to show you guys how you can make a lot of money in uh, the import and export DLC for GTA Online of course. So to start this off I would just like to say that this DLC is very expensive to just get your things running. It's going to cost you over 2 million which is quite a lot of money I understand. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing some other videos showing you how to make that money if you want to do this method, of course. But as I said, this DLC is amazing for making some money back. I have made over 8 million from this uh, method and it is amazing. So basically, it requires you to buy a uh, office, a CEO office, which can be expensive, but often they go on sale for 500,000 which isn't that bad so you might as well pick one of them up and then you also want to get a vehicle warehouse which is around 1,200,000 something like that so you want to buy that as well so anyway after you've got both of them things you're pretty much done and you can make the money with this DLC now of course this DLC is basically you have to go and source vehicles steal them and take them to your warehouse later to be sold for profit of course now there are three different types of profit there is just a sell the car straight away with no upgrades no money spent on the car it just it's that which doesn't get you that much money i'm not gonna lie so i wouldn't recommend doing that method there's also a second one which is when you do a couple of customizations but uh that still isn't amazing for making money but there's a third method which will cost you 20k uh just to start it off and uh, then you get 100k back which is really good and yeah so I recommend you do the highest seller I guess you could say so yeah you want to basically get that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it that's it for the uh, to sort of explain how the DLC works now I've got some tips for you guys uh, that which you can use for this DLC so uh, the first tip I've got is uh, make sure that you mainly get top range vehicles now there is one way of doing this, which is to make sure that you uh, have basically all the uh, standard vehicles and all the mid-range vehicles. And after you've got all the mid-range vehicles, you basically trick the game into thinking that you need uh, top-range vehicles. And then uh, you'll be just be given top-range vehicles consistently. So yeah, the top-range vehicles of course sell for 100k, the bottom-range vehicles sell around 30k, and the mid-range vehicles sell for around 60k. So you want the top range ones of course, which I've already told you how to get. So um, yeah, you basically get all the mid range and the standard range vehicles and then you will just be given the top range vehicles. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. So yeah, um, the next thing I've got for you guys is another tip. And this tip is basically for selling the vehicle. And of course, uh, on the way to selling the vehicles, you will basically um, be chased by gangs and these guys will shoot your car and you will lose profit so a way to stop this is get out your car and basically just kill all of them and this is uh, useful because then they can't shoot you and you can't lose profit so yeah I'd recommend doing that so um, yeah as you can see what just happened on the gameplay here I lost some money as I delivered the car that's because it got damaged and you basically have to pay for the repair cost so yeah make sure you don't smash the car up too much otherwise you'll be paying for a high price to repair i think the highest price is 30k and you don't want to spend that really because that would just make you lose money instead of gaining money so as you can see you want to go to a specialist dealer and this will grab you the most amount of money <laughs> so once you've clicked that okay, you basically have to customize the car it really doesn't matter what customizations you put on here it's not important i just uh, make the car look nice anyway so um, yeah you just basically chuck whatever you want onto the car it really doesn't matter what you choose and uh, yeah that's pretty much all you have to do at the moment and uh, yeah the next step in the process is basically just to sell the car now selling the car is very easy again I've already said you get chased by gang members which isn't that hard to be fair so yeah I would just recommend you guys get out the car and uh, try to kill all those guys so yeah that's pretty much all that I have to cover in the DLC again I did mention that you will be costly it will cost you quite a lot of money to get the start off but it is well worth it I've made triple back from this method and it is 
definitely worth it, so yeah. Hang on there guys, I forgot to mention something. Basically, there is a cooldown for the amount of cards you can sell. Basically, there's a 20 minute cooldown when you sell a car, so you have to wait 20 minutes. And what I recommend you do in those 20 minutes is use the VIP missions or just source for more vehicles. Now what this will do is basically count towards the uh, the countdown and you will just be making even more profit as you are waiting for the timer to go down. So yeah, that is all I have to say about uh, the uh, timer really. So as you can see, I'm selling the car now in the gameplay. And uh, yeah, basically you'll see that I get chased by the gang members and I get out of my vehicle and uh, less damage is caused to the vehicle. Now. This, this doesn't mean that your car can't get damaged still, sometimes a NPC will accidentally drive into your car or they will shoot you as you can see there. So yeah just make sure you're quick and make sure the car is out of the way, out of the middle of the road so people don't hit it or anything like that. So yeah, and I just keep dying at this moment as you can see here, It is uh, these guys are very strong so yeah just get out of your car, it's more worth it to just get out instead of driving through it because these guys can just completely get rid of your profit really and that will make you lose money which is of course not what we want in this DLC so anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next video I'm just gonna leave you guys with the gameplay here so you can see uh, how much money I make in the end so uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you stay tuned for more GTA online videos anyway I'll see you in the next video goodbye